Did you know that chocolate comes from a tree? Translate that to meme language, chocolate's plant-based. So technically a salad. <gasps> okay, okay. Chocolate isn't a salad for sure. But what about chocolate destroys your will so completely unlike any other salad? Why is it so tough to break up with your favorite breakup food, <gasps> chocolate? How many times have you tried to cut the cord only to find yourself hogging on your colleague's birthday cake or throwing away weeks of abstinence on just two bricks of a bar? <gasps> is it just its rich, mouth-melting, heavenly taste? Or are there other secrets simmering below the surface of this hot cocoa? What makes chocolate almost drug-like addictive? It's time to put on our lab coats and explain the magic of chocolate. Through the power of science, of course. First, Choco is plant-based. Vegans unite. It belongs to the fam of bindi and cotton. Second, chocolate has chemicals that make us humans slaves to this bean, pretty much like the other bean, coffee. Chocolate chemicals have trained the human brain to love it and crave it. Our brains have been deeply wired to love chocolate because it impacts the three most important survival instincts. Need for positivity, stress relief, energy. So first up, the positive vibes only phenomenon. How does that work? To understand this, the first key piece of the puzzle is the human brain. This supercomputer's algorithms are tuned to work on a reward system, building deep positive association with things that make us feel good. The feel good, in turn, is triggered by the release of a chemical called dopamine into our nervous system. Dopamine is flushed into our system when we do anything happy, from a good laugh to sex. Chocolate contains theobromine, which activates dopamine release, giving us a feeling of uplifted mood, increased heart rate, and feeling good. Chocolate also has phenylethylamine and serotonin that increases heart rate and blood pressure, lifts mood, and mimics the feeling of falling in love. No wonder when we break up, we fill the void with chocolate. Chocolate chemicals are literally the conductors of our happiness orchestra. Together, all these things also act as stress breakers. So in our lives, when we're perpetually in stress mode, chocolate has become the go-to savior. To top it up, chocolate contains caffeine, which counters the adenosine molecules in our brain that makes us sleepy. So chocolate is pretty much a socially acceptable drug. Considering chocolate contains compounds similar to morphine, ecstasy, and marijuana, Shouldn't it be illegal or sold in the dark backstreet alleys? Thankfully, chocolate has these compounds in very low quantities that affect us for a very short while in very mild ways. But what really makes chocolate difficult to break up with is the amount of sugar and fats that the processed final chocolates contain. Try a bar of 85% dark chocolate with low sugar and you'll never feel like gobbling down the whole bar. To enjoy some of the other benefits of chocolate, like the flavonols which are brain boosters or the appetite suppressing ghrelin, you need to switch to dark chocolate. <sighs> we see that eye roll. In a nutshell, saying all chocolate is healthy is like saying let's eat that 10th kaju katli because it's made of kaju, which is so healthy.